try to capture Captain Delgado as the captain on Easy 33 today. I'll try to key my radio here so you can hear it. So we'll try to listen to as much of this radio traffic as possible. So while they're inside doing a search, they're going to be kind of looking around, feeling around, trying to find that victim and all that smoke. This is it's a difficult thing, but our firefighters are trained really well to do this. So right now the engine would be in on an interior fire attack while they're doing this search. And the truck company's going to go to the roof. So they're going to bring the aerial over, they're going to bring some chainsaws, some other tools, and they're going to get ready to cut a hook. Yeah, so Engine 33 found the victim. They're getting ready to pull him out. There comes the victim right there. Continue to do a search of that entire structure. The structure is not considered clear until we search the whole thing, so they're going to continue to look for more victims. So you can see this truck company guys made great work, Engine 33, give it up for Engine 33 on that victim removal. So the truck companies go to the roof, and this is where they're going to do a little sounding first. Anytime you go on a roof that's got fire under it, we want to make sure the roof is still sound. So you have a lead sounder, he's going to sound out in front of the crew. And what he's doing is, that firefighter is making sure that the roof is still stable enough for them to be on. We cut holes routinely over fire as long as the roof is stable. So they're going to continue to kind of sound their way around the roof, make sure the roof is stable, and they'll, you know, get up there and cut a hole.
my home and it's on the roof. Good smoke production. I know it's good. We're getting proper lift inside. We're good, thank you. So you can see that truck company kind of coordinates with the interior firefighters. One, to make sure they've got enough lift of that smoke, so the smoke's leaving enough. If they don't, then they can make that hole bigger. They can extend it, make the hole a little bigger, get as much of that smoke out of the fire as possible. But give it up for uh, Truck 31 on that ventilation job. Great job, man. So we're going to set up uh, Truck 31 here in about 10 more minutes. We'll kind of reposition it. And we're going to extend the ladder fully, all 100 feet. And we'll send the firefighter to the top. Any kids want to climb it? Just kidding. I wish. That's a really long way. You'll see. But uh, give us about 10 minutes. We'll have the truck set up for sure. Uh, it's a little hairball. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but we all love to do it. It's still a lot of fun. The view up there is amazing. So Mitchell's going to have a great view. And he's motoring, so that's pretty good. Obviously, he is. Uh, firefighters cannot be afraid of heights because this is uh, what we routinely do. So there's also a couple of steps up there that he can put down so that he can stand on them. That's what he's kicking down with his feet right now. And then he's going to lock in with his ladder belt. And once he's locked in, he can go hands-free up in the air and lean back and just kind of enjoy the view. Give uh, probationary firefighter Mitchell a round of applause. Mitchell, how's the view?